On our way out this morning, we stopped by the local bakery and we bought a couple of croissants, which Rachel claims were much better than the little ones. Much better than the little one. Is it? Mm. Oh, it's very buttery. Mm. So we just ordered the croissant. Ooh. Completely in French. I was impressed. She was impressed. She's impressed. That means it must have been quite good. Until, after I ordered it, she then proceeded to say something else in French and I was like, uh, I presume it was money. Like, she told me how much it was. Um, but when, when I gave her the money, she said thank you. So she obviously knew we were English. But you know, I think she respected the fact that we were trying to at least speak a bit of French. One of the main features of Dinant is the fort that's located at the top of the hill. So during our early start, we took a cable car right to the top. Honestly, we've picked a cracking weekend for coming to Europe. Uh, Dinant, well, in fact, every day so far since we've traveled here has just been literally blue skies everywhere. So we're at the Citadel, which is on top of this hill, cliff, and the uh, riverside of Dinant, or Dinant. I'm not really sure. Um, you can get a cable car up here or you can walk up the steps, which I think from the sign there's 408 steps. Doesn't sound an awful lot, um, but it looks like a stairway to heaven, so we uh, opted for the cable car because A, it's cooler, and B, it's just a, a quicker way of getting up here. It's got to be said, this fort is incredible. It's gorgeous to look at, there's so much to do here, there's tours you can go on, there's lots of hallways to go and explore, rooms full of history about the war. And of course the views here, phew, the views are sensational. You see the camera in my glasses. You can it? Oh yeah, you can. What? Got some more grey. Oh. I'm having salt and pepper hair. Oh, uh, speaking of grey hair, Rachel plucked quite a defining grey hair from my head today. It's been there for a few weeks that I've known, well, probably a few months actually. Uh, and it's, it's like right here. I don't mind it too much. It's, it's very dominant. It's quite a thick piece of grey hair. But if it doesn't quite get swept in with my style, it tends to just do its own thing and stick out. And it doesn't even seem to match the rest of my hair. But today, this morning, I decided it had to go. Not because I'm ashamed to be grey. It just it did look a bit ridiculous having this grey aerial, basically, on the top of my head. So I got the tweezers. Blink. And Ada came. I've got an alarm for the tomorrow that's left from last week. It just says Game of Thrones exclamation mark at oh, 6am. Yeah? <laughs> Game of Thrones tomorrow morning. Yeah, so are we... We're not going to get up at 6 though, are we? What I don't want to do is do what we did this morning and just do nothing until yeah. about lunchtime. Okay. We literally left the apartment well, about... If you, it, up, just, uh, I don't past think we're midday. Gonna, you're not going to be able to watch it when you're driving. No, I know that. So we've got to watch it here in the morning if yes. we're going to watch it all tomorrow. That's fine, that's fine. This is our apartment. Yeah, you can see the, the church. Unfortunately, while the tour was quite informative, it was painfully slow. It isn't the fault of the guy who was running the tour. He has to translate it in several different languages. We all have to walk at a really slow pace through narrow corridors. It can get quite slow, quite quickly, and a little bit claustrophobic. So this is one of, perhaps one of the better views of uh, the town from this angle of, from the Citadel. We very nearly abandoned this. We, we didn't intend to do a tour. We couldn't find another way to get to this platform, and we that close to leaving and then Rachel spotted um, some people we assumed it was a tour group so we came back 
did the tour. And as I say, you get like a pretty good view of Dinan from here. And this bridge, strategically, this was a very dominant place to be during the war. Obviously, as you can imagine, the bridge was kind of critical in crossing the river. Uh, and obviously, from a uh, defence point of view, it was great to keep people up here stationed here, snipering people as they crossed or whatever they wanted to do during the war. So yeah, small town, a lot of history. So we did the, the tour really to get her onto that viewing platform. We're in the courtyard now, thinking about doing a runner. Everyone's moving now. Everyone's Apparently we're too nice, too British, too kind. After proving my point about the slow moving tour, we decided enough was enough and we had to get out of there. Even though we felt really bad about it. So sorry guys. Rachel didn't meet Neil much convincing to depart. And off we go. We've jumped the chain, we've jumped the chain. Oh, we got horrible people. Our Britishness has just gone down the pan. And there's a whole crowd of people as well. It's not very subtle. Especially with my camera holding it. Look at this, all these people. Going down looking at us thinking, traitors! We are done here at the Citadel. And look at the view behind there, it's amazing. Uh, we're going to get a, the cable car back down and then I think uh, we're going to go off for a boat ride on the river. Or if it's a bit too expensive, we'll probably just have a a nice casual walk down the river, stop at a, a restaurant, maybe get some food. Coming up to two o'clock, so we're, we definitely want to drink and we'll probably get some food while we're out as well. After making our way down to ground level, we jumped on a little boat, taking us down the river. Yeah, it isn't that easy to steer. It's like trying to skid around corners. Drift. It is pretty slow. I suppose it means people don't crash and kill each other. So this boat trip takes about an hour and you can kind of see why because it's the slowest boat in the world. In terms of distance I'd probably say it's about a mile. It isn't really that far but it's, the thing is it feels slower because you can see so far ahead you just not get in there. One thing worth noting about this boat is that they're all electric, which means they run off battery. Now, at the moment we're going with the current, which actually was okay for the most part, but coming back, the boat seemed really slow and it took us a while to register that actually the, the light that was blinking on the dashboard was to do with the battery level. So we were running on basically nothing and we were concerned that we were gonna get stranded out on the river. <laughs> Just what is she holding? Uh, oh. I thought it was like an insole from a shoe. 